Hi guys and welcome back to another squad builder with myself Bates and 87. Now you lot absolutely smashed that 3,000 co uh, 3,000 like target which I set before, and I'm going to not reward you. I'm just going to get you out the best possible MLS team available on the game. This is after all the team of the season players were released, uh, and there's also some special like well weird cards in there which you wouldn't really expect. But we're going to put them in anyway. So what I'm going to set now, guys. If you lot hit that 3,000 like mark again on Saturday, I will have the best possible Italian team out for you uh, if not we'll do another nation but I want to get that Italian team out it's ready ready to go but 3,000 likes and we'll do that but first things first go and check out FIFA coins online for your ultimate team coin needs their link is down below right let's crack on show you this builder then show you some awesome goals we scored with them so let's set the parameters as well and go so it's in a 4 one 2 one 2 as you can see there the first goalkeeper we're going to have is the team of the season Romando uh, originally he did have a normal card uh, which was 71 rated then he had an inform card which went to 74 I do believe I may be wrong on that one and then he went no he had an inform and then a second inform I remember that now and um, then he went to a team of the season which is a gold 80 rated card so he, that makes him the best keeper in the MLS uh, well the only gold keeper in the MLS uh, by far so yeah, really good. The two centre-backs on the right-hand side, we're going to go with Nesta. Uh, he is the Italian stallion who was a god, 82 rated. He's still quite high for uh, someone who is, well, in the MLS really. He's the only gold MLS defender available. Um, yeah, solid player, six foot two. just his pace lets him down with 51. And the other centre-back next to him is going to be Colin. He has 68 pace silver. Uh, he does have red, a red card on him. I got him sent off in the last game, which is a bit annoying, uh, so I'm unable to see his rating. I think it's 74, if, I, if I'm right, but I'm not 100% I'm not on that. The left-back, he is 72 rated. He is Rocha. He, um, unfortunately, there's only a few on the market, so we're very lucky to get one. Uh, 71 pace, Swiss. Really, is it Swiss? Yeah, it is. Um, Swiss in form, very solid, highest rated in the MLS. The reason we went with the um, uh, the four one two one two over any other formation is just really because of the centre backs. We don't want three low rated centre backs. We may as well have some decent team of the season and uh, in form players in there. So on the right back, we've got team of the season Beltran as well, 87 paced American for Real Salt Lake. Uh, very solid player. I really enjoyed this defence actually. Even though it looks quite shitty, uh, it was very solid. Uh, on the bench as well, I may as well show you these while we're there. We have um, the standard cards. We have Team of the Season Ash, Team of the Season Gonzalez, uh, Team of the Season Bernier, uh, Inform Camilo. We did have Team of the Season Camilo uh, before. You will have seen that in the Silver Brazilian squad builder from earlier, but unfortunately we've had to uh, get rid of him for the time being. Uh, one Dolsky. Wondolowski, that's a weird name. Uh, he plays for the Earthquakes. Johnson, Cahill, and Robbie Keane. So moving on to the midfield, which we have in this team. CDM, it's going to be the Gold Beckerman. A team of the season uh, one as well. His original position, well, original card was 72 rated, non-rare. Um, so there's a massive jump in stats as well. 73 shooting, 81 passing, 80 defending. That's ridiculous for a low rated goal. Um, but he is very nice. I think a few people pulled him from packs as well. The left midfield is uh, Davis, 69 pace. He plays for Dynamo and uh, didn't really like him. But he uh, he grew on me in the last couple of games. He scored a very nice goal. You will see that, see that in the highlights at the end as well. The right midfield, he is a standard inform card, and it is Rosales, uh, who plays for Saunders, Argentinian. Uh, if you look at him, he has three star, three star, but his uh, passing uh, pace and dribbling is uh, really good, and we only paid 20k for him as well, so a very solid player, even though I would preferably play Castillo in that position. The cam is going to be team of the season Donovan. Now, this card is a re release. Um, yeah, re-release from the most consistent team of the season. So I don't know why EA felt the urge to make them re-releases in team of the seasons. It's just ridiculous. Uh, and we paid 72k for him, uh, which is quite cheap, really, considering the market's going to be completely flooded now. Moving on to the two strikers. In the left-hand side, we're going to have Divao. Divao. Divu. Divao. Cannot say his name. I'm shit with pronunciations. But he's also an Italian beast who plays for... Is it Montreal? Um... Let's have a look. 
uh, yeah, Montreal Impact. Uh, his sh his shot is ridiculous, and I will talk a lot more about that coming on in the highlights. And to finish off this uh, squad builder, we're going to have the team of the season, Thierry Henry, 85 rated, 82 pace, 86 shooting, four star skills on him as well. Uh, absolutely ridiculous player, and you will see some nice goals from him also. So there you have it, guys, in the background there. You can see the best possible MLS team uh, available on the game. Uh, so now I'm going to show you the highlights of the games in Division 1. Um, and Division 2 because uh, for some reason I couldn't play with this team at the first and we lost a few games so we got relegated again so anyway I'll be back in a sec so we're back guys and these are the games we initially played, well this is the game we initially played in Division 1 as you can see there in the top corner we had 5-0 down and it, it took me that long to get used to the team um, but when I did and got into full flow you'll see it in Division 2 we scored some absolutely brilliant goals not this one because this is just a typical sweat goal which uh, Bates and 87 seems to love uh, and so do you guys as well most of you are sweaty confessed players which I don't mind at all and it's only really uh, haters and skill players and traders who don't like sweaty players. They need to get used to it and grow the fuck up. So, looking back at the team, let's go run down them individually and talk about them. So, running down with the keeper, a lot better than his second in form or in form silver version. Um, he's still quite small, gets beaten quite a lot, um, but apart from that, he's solid. Nesta, one of the players who stood out a mile for me, um, for his rating and his pace... Um, but it's ultimate team. It, it pace contradicts the game, um, and unfortunately, him having low pace, he did get caught out now and then. But apart from that, his position was solid, and so was his defending. The left back and the right back, standard players, really, nothing special about them, uh, apart from the coloured cards. Uh, Beckerman, very solid player. Didn't really see him much, but when I needed him there at CDM, he was there to cover up and uh, get back when needed. Uh, left midfield. Uh, that was the uh, team of the season guy from Houston Dynamo, I think. Um, he scored a really good goal coming up soon. I think it's soon after this. Um, very tidy player. He doesn't have uh, the skills, but for a standard 69 pace, 70 shooting, 79 passing type of player, you would expect him just to run, and that's what he did. Um, uh, what's his name? Rosales. He he was a tidy player for 20k. Very solid. Uh, his normal card's good though. Good enough to uh, just play the standard card. Team of season Donovan. Very good. Uh, probably could be maybe put him at striker next time. That's where I'd preferably play him. Um, but when you've got team of the season Devout and team of the season on me, it's something you can't do because them two have ridiculous shots. Especially Devout's long shot was absolutely beast. Thierry Henry, with his skills as well, does score a really nice goal coming up also. So that's my rundown of the best possible MLS team. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, remember to smash that like button. Subscribe to me if you're not subscribed. Also check out FIFA Coins Online for your ultimate team coin needs and comment in the section below about what other teams you want to do. I will also be trying to get this best possible American team to out soon as well. Uh, if you lot know it, hit me up on Skype. See you later. Bye-bye.